Here's the 3 2. Ball four, bases loaded. So Jordan walks. Oh, what's the call here? Threw him out of the game. Got to be for something unsportsmanlike. Got to be. Or taunting or something. We don't know. They just tossed Jordan Donahue. Had an emphatic response to drawing ball four, and Rich Hill cannot believe it. And a little bit of talking in the direction of that old Miss dugout. Yep. The bat toss, yeah. perhaps. That's not good. That's not good. A couple of words, a little bat toss there, and the umpire sending him. And the look of surprise there. So I did a video a few days ago on an ejection after a game-tying grand slam. And now we have maybe even a weirder one. We have an ejection after a walk, which, again, I don't know if I've ever seen this. And first, I appreciate everyone sending this over to me. I've had a bunch of people email this to me. If you all see other plays, interesting plays like this, please email them to me, matt at antonellibaseball.com. So let's break this down. We have Hawaii against Ole Miss, 4-3 Hawaii. We have a full count, two outs, bases loaded. Here's the pitch, and we have ball four. The hitter's excited, says something to the other bench, tosses bat, and he's thrown out of the game. So let's get another view here. It's a slow motion view. So you can see he takes it, he turns, he yells. We can't hear, obviously, what he says. But notice that right, we're going to look at the umpire. Let's go back here a second. So he turns, he yells something there. And keep in mind that this is the Ole Miss bench over here. So that's not the Hawaii bench. So he yells something there, and then he says something else here. And now if we keep our eye on the umpire, it's right here where he takes his mask off. So he's throwing him right here. It's before the bat toss. He's taking off his mask right here, and he's about to call time and throw him out. We get the bat toss towards the other bench, but again, I think he was getting tossed before that bat toss right there. And now he turns back and sees that he's been ejected. So here's another view. He's already said something, he tosses his bat. Again, we can't see the umpire, but he comes into view right here, points at him and says, you're gone. So I think that was probably coming again before the bat toss. I think it's whatever he said to the opposing team's dugout. And there's a lot of rules that have been put in place this year. I'm going to go through them, but you can see he goes, what? So clearly a lot of players are not used to these rules being enforced the way they are this year. So with all the ejections, because it feels like there's so many more to begin this college season, I looked up the rules. And here are some of the things that have been added to the rule book. So first, bat flips near or towards an opponent or umpire were added to the unsportsmanlike conduct behaviors for this year's rule book. So technically, this bat flip was towards the opponent's dugout. I still think he was thrown out before that, but if he wasn't, then under these rules, he's probably going to be thrown out. Now, there are other things that were added. Negative comments directed at an opponent, at an umpire, or at a spectator, bench jockeying, and any use of props or signs directed at an opponent or an umpire decision. Those are all grounds for an ejection. Now here's the exact wording. It says that when a player does display one of these behaviors, then quote, the umpire shall warn the offending individual and the coach one time. If the unsportsmanlike conduct continues after the warning, the offender shall be ejected. If the unsportsmanlike conduct continues after the first ejection, the head coach shall be ejected along with any other offending personnel. So the interesting thing is, there was no warning. Now, maybe there was a warning beforehand. And we talked about in our last video with that Grand Slam ejection that there had already been warning. So there must have been a warning before this. And I'm just going to say this. I played college baseball from 2004 to 2006. And some of the things that were said on the field by the opposing team was pretty bad. I can vividly remember my roommate, Josh Ellis, gave up a triple against Georgia Tech I was the third baseman. Their bench was on the third base side. Josh backed up third base, and their bench said the meanest things. And I'm not talking about one player. I'm talking about 25 guys on the bench called Josh 
every name I've ever heard of. And I remember him walking back to the mound and looking at me with a look that basically said, welcome to college baseball. I've never been called any of those things in my life. So there's always been, especially at the college level, the college level actually more than the professional level. When I became a professional, and especially in the major leagues, there was no trash talking, at least in my time there. I know I didn't play forever, but there was zero trash talking. Everybody was like really nice. Everybody was buddies. But college, there was more trash talking. And it seems like now we're trying to eliminate anything. And I agree that some players take it too far, and we need to make sure that we monitor that. But I just hope it doesn't go too far to where we're ejecting players for everything. And again, I don't know what he said here. And the bat flip towards the opposing team's dugout. Yeah, if I was a player, I'd probably be upset. And I don't think there was any need for that. But again, it seems like he was getting ejected before he even did that. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And please send me other videos if you find them. That's all we have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.